The point here is, is that there's no reason to adopt a victim mentality, but a victim mentality is spreading throughout our culture. A lot of the problems that we're beginning to see in the economic stagnation in uh, working class Americans isn't due to trade policy. It isn't due to the Obama administration. It's due to fractured families, uh, poor educational attainment, and sadly, an awful lot of, of drug and alcohol abuse. All of those things are occurring because people make choices, not because the government's failed them. And no one here is defending the government as having been beneficial to their lives. No one here is defending the government and saying everything is okay in Washington. But it's not the government that causes families to fracture. It's not the government that causes substance, substance abuse. And by all of those measures, those problems are skyrocketing. And that's a cultural issue. That's not a government issue. Hmm. I think that's a good point. Uh, although some, some, will, some would argue, David, that, well, it's been from the left we've seen identity politics. They've, they've created this identity politics monster. I mean, we're witnessing Frankenstein's monster come to fruition right now. I mean, uh, it's, it's, Mary Shelley was, was uh, a prophet, but that, that's what we're witnessing right now. But they say, well, you know, identity politics created by the left, they've demonized white working class Americans. Everything, we have like white privilege being taught in schools. We have even now members of the military undergoing sensitivity training due to their privilege. And so do, would that play a part into this? Because I would say there's an argument there. There, there is an argument that uh, white working class has been demonized. It absolutely has been demonized. And in some ways it's been mistreated in concrete ways. So for example, um, a person from Appalachia, a white person from Appalachia applying to college is not going to have the same benefits as, say, a black doctor's son applying uh, from Connecticut. I mean, that, that, that is an injustice, but that doesn't mean that the white working class kid can't get into college. And I'm sorry, you know, all this mockery that we see, although it's hurtful, you know, watching a PowerPoint about white privilege is not something that's going to make me pick up the bottle or divorce my wife. There's much greater cultural issues in play than the elite's mockery. That's hurtful, it's wrong, it doesn't make me fail. It doesn't make anyone else fail. And we have to realize that the ultimate person responsible for our own success, the person most responsible for our own fate, uh, is ourselves, our own, the choices that we make. Of course, under the sovereignty of God, but we as individuals have decisions to make, and the government doesn't make us make bad choices.